Okay, I managed to disassemble my hand warmer battery pack. Um, unfortunately, I think that I damaged some of the exterior casing as well as the buttons. Um, so I, I don't think it's going to be able to get uh, put back together in a usable fashion, although maybe I can get it to work. Um, I just won't have a whole lot of confidence in it. That said, I have disconnected the lithium ion battery pack um, just for safety. Um, I did like that there was the temperature sensor inside of the pack uh, between the two cells so that it can, the battery management system can detect an over temperature situation. Um, that said, I have cut the wires for the battery supply to the circuit board and I've connected them to my bench power supply. Um, I set this at 3.97 volts um, with the maximum current limit for amps. Um, and I can see that what happens when I turn on um, Barely by this. So when I turn on the power supply, the light actually does light up. Um, and my device actually now turns on. Um, if I turn it off and back on, it actually seems to be working now. Um, I can see that the device is drawing around 3.4 amps, 13 watts. Um, and it looks like it's heating up. So it, it seems like um, all that this device probably needed um, was a uh, just a, a hard reset or a disconnect and a reconnect of the battery pack um, in order to function so I can see the temperature is rising there um, you know it's actually getting warm on the other side of this I can see that um, the wattage is you know, about constant um, the buttons re um, react as I would expect them to um, and yeah, so I, I think that I may have um, at least figured out what was going on here is that uh, the chip probably just got stuck in some kind of software uh, glitch or maybe a protection mode. I'm not quite sure what, um, but disconnecting the battery pack and attaching a um, external power supply seems to have worked. Um, I will note that I did test the voltage of this uh, two cell pack. And it is at around 4.2 volts, so I, you know, I believe that these batteries are um, intact, that they're still healthy and good, um, and that, you know, I, I don't think that that would have caused any issues here. So, um, thanks.